I've been dreaming of a place now Where the winter doesn't freeze the sea And the air all around you makes you feel like you can finally breathe oh, Won't you come away with me And I'll find What's up, y'all? Uh, welcome back. In the last video, if you watched, uh, we fished some prefrontal conditions, got out uh, a little bit of wind, um, pressure was dropping, and we had a very, very active day. Uh, this time, we are going to fish when the rain, the winds, and everything else, the cold is going to start moving back in. Um, as you can tell when the video starts, it's a very beautiful morning, a uh, beautiful orange sunrise. Uh, and as the video goes on, um, you know, we experience deteriorating conditions, cloudiness, mist, and then all of a sudden a full blown out downpour. Uh, jump in the boat with my buddy Justin, um, check him out, Salty Toad Fishing. I'll put a link at the bottom for that. Um, we hit a very, very popular creek in New Bern. Uh, a lot of crowd there, so we decided to look at the map, try to find something that was with about 15, 20 minute um, boat ride. So anyways, uh, we hit the creek, nobody was in there, of course, and I threw on a Ned rig. I've used them for bass fishing before, but never in the saltwater game. If anybody knows me, I hate fishing soft plastics. It's just like soaking bait with a Carolina rig for me. I just, I absolutely hate it. Um, but sometimes you gotta adapt. This is how I found the fish. I used a Slick Junior. I used an eighth ounce Ned head. Um, Worked it off the bottom from a five to about a 12, 14 foot drop. Uh, and of course on the drop is when they hit it. So we ended up finding a decent flounder. Uh, right off the bat, Justin gets a decent striper. I think it was 21 or 22 inches. And then eventually we found the 12, 14 inch class of fish. And finally at the end, I pulled in a 25 inch speckled trout and a big fat belly on it right at 25 inches, four and a half pounds. Uh, let it go to see another day. Uh, but anyways, this is what the Ned rig looks like. The Sleek Juniors, uh, like I said, an eighth ounce on the Ned rig. Um, it'll stand that bait up and down. You can walk the dog with it. You can do dramatic like rainbow loops, just popping it back and forth. Um, both ways seem to work just fine. Uh, same type of bass techniques, like I said, uh, but build a little bit more confidence. And if you struggle with it like I do, hopefully you can get some confidence in you as well. But anyway, stay tuned, appreciate you watching. First time ever watching, please feel free to subscribe, it's absolutely free. If not, um, thank you for tuning in. But anyways, let's get at it. Y'all take it easy. Oh, on the drop. I never even reeled. <laughs> I guess that it was letting it drop and got smoked. Net worthy? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There he is. Finally. Oh man, I could put him in my daughter's aquarium. But, it's a start. Ah, he's warm. <laughs> mm -hmm. they're, they're right here under our boat. Every time I go to real up, I can feel them snack. Oh, I think they start pouring. Yeah.
Here we go. That's better. Uh, I don't think. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Just in case. Oh yeah. Might be old Trucha door right there. I'm gonna bring him up to you, Justin. Oh, the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I thought some things were endangered. Damn, that's all right. He'd have went. He'd have went in the grease big time. All right, buddy. He's getting closer to keeper size. Probably about 13. A little bit, a little better. There he is. Yep. <laughs> right. That's a little keeper. A little keeper. Oh. Now we got bit right up by the edge. About fourteen. They could be right where he's at now. That's why he ain't moved. There we back into that 12 to 14 inch slot size. With the occasional. Trucha. Over here. They like what? They like the side. Yeah, about 12, 13. He gone. There it is. What did I tell you? I told you it had to be trout. Well, I mean, that's what that tail's got on it, chartreuse. I have almost the exact same lure you have. Um, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's better. Looks better. Unless it's another flounder. I got a little weight behind him, Justin. Holy. Oh my god. Holy. Oh shoot. <laughs> Look how big that beast is. Holy crap. Dude. Well, talk Let's about PBs. This is folded over. I didn't even know. Talk about PBs, baby. That might be close. Dude, that's a stud. 
Holy oh, shit. <laughs> dude, I'm sorry. I, I didn't uh, know, know the thing was folded over. Nah, dude. It's... You got a tape measure on here? I do. And I got a, uh, I got a scale too if you want to weigh them. Well, you can use... I mean that one or back here or actually I have a board too. Yeah, that'll give you the best. That is a freaking stud. Look how fat that boy is. Man. Right at right at 25. Four five. Nice. Just like that. Nice. 